Okay, friends, we're going to go through this PowerPoint together because we didn't have the opportunity to finish this during class. So we're going to review higher order thinking, what's hot and what's not. Your learning target is I can ask questions that create deeper thinking. And you are going to utilize this specifically to ask questions about social studies learnings. Hi, how are you? That question is not a hot question. If you can answer it with one word, or you can answer it very quickly, then it doesn't make you think. So it is HOT. HOT stands for higher order thinking. These are some ways that you can engage your thinking to go to different levels. This is a copy of what's called Bloom's Taxonomy, and it's le different levels of thinking. The knowledge level is remembering previously learned information, Comprehension is a demonstration or an understanding of facts. Application is being able to apply it to a different situation other than what you're learning. Analysis is being able to break it down into simpler parts and find evidence to support generalizations. Synthesis is to compile component ideas into a new whole or propose alternative solutions. And evaluation is when you make and defend judgments based on internal evidence or external criteria. Are teachers the ones who should ask all of the questions? No. Are we the ones that ask all the questions? No. You ask questions every single day. Does this shirt look good with these pants? Did I remember to brush my teeth? Should I wear these shoes today? What's the weather like today? We also have things that we wonder. So one of the things that I had for you guys to do was to click on this link to take you to a Padlet. And I will include this link in the same area with the video for the module. And right now, a lot of people have already gotten on there and put what they wonder. If you haven't already done that, please do that sometime today. So again, this is just another way to look at Bloom's taxonomy. So remember is to retrieve re relevant information. Can you recall where is, who is, can you list, how would you describe, how could you explain, which of these is true or false, that's remembering. Understanding is when you construct meaning from an instructional message. What is the main idea? Can you find an example of? How would you summarize? What might happen next? How do you explain? What ideas or facts show? These are the verbs that go with it. Apply carry out or use a procedure in given situation. So this is where you learn about financial, um, uh, I'm sorry, financial literacy is I think what you guys learned like in fifth grade. And I think you have a unit in it in math every year. And so this is where you take what you're learning in your math class and you apply it. So let's say you have a job and you remember in your financial literacy class that it talks about you should save 10% of your money, and then you should donate 10% of your money, and then you should set aside some for spending, and then some for a big goal later on down, down the road. So when you actually go and you babysit, or you go and mow a lawn, or whatever it is that you do to earn money, maybe you get an allowance, when you look at your money and you say, okay, I made $40, so I'm going to put $4 in savings that I'm not going to touch, that's going to go to my college savings, I'm going to take $4 and I'm going to donate it. You can donate it to any charitable organization, a church, whatever is on your heart or that you're passionate about. And then the rest of it, you're like, okay, well, I know that I want a new laptop, but I can't afford one right now. So I'm going to set that, I'm going to send ha set half of my money aside so that I can get a laptop later on. And then I've got this other money and this is where I can buy my extra snacks. If I have a want, um, such as being able to go and buy a new shirt or a new pair of shoes or those kinds of things, that's what that money is for. Um, and if you have bills, that's what that money is for. And you would make sure that you have your bills paid before you set aside money for a new laptop.
Anyway, you get the idea. You're applying what you learned in math class to a real life situation. Create is when you combine elements or ideas to form a new whole. So this is where you take the things that you are learning in class and you create something from it. You invent something from it. And um, your thinking goes a little bit deeper. So for instance, um, later on this week, you're going to be asked to take some of your new learning and create a desk map. So that is on the higher end of Bloom's taxonomy. It is a creation. So questions that go with creations or creating is what is an alternative? Could you invent? Can you compose? What is your theory about whatever it is? How can you imagine something in a different way? What could you design to fix a problem of some kind? Evaluating is when you make a judgment based on criteria and standards. Which one is more important? So you could compare and contrast. Is there a better solution to how to filter water for drinking? Can you defend something that is maybe a controversial issue? What are the pros and cons of a specific thing? Asking the questions like, why? Why is the sky blue? Or um, why does a cotton t-shirt co cost less than a silk shirt? And then how would you feel if? So this is pulling in your emotional pieces too and connecting with what you're learning. How would you feel if um, what we were learning about in history was happening right now in the moment? What would? How would you feel if you were in San Francisco in 1989 during the earthquakes? Those kinds of things ask you to evaluate um, your learning. Analyzing is when you separate a whole into parts. You take it apart and you kind of look at every little piece of it and you decide what the relationship is between those things. So questions that go with that are why do you think? What is the relationship? Can you compare and contrast? Notice that's another thing that kind of popped up in um, evaluate to or apply, I think. And then um, what idea is relevant to this? How would you categorize it? What can you infer? And you can see that there's a list of verbs that go right there with it. So right now, what you're going to do is you're going to open a Google Doc and you're going to title it your grade level, your last name, first initial, and questioning. You're going to share it with your teacher either me or Mr. Davis, and then you're going to begin to write as many questions as you can think of about the world around you. And I would just take about three minutes to do that. So during our class today, what we're going to do is we're going to create categories of questions. So we're going to cut and paste within our own document to create categories or question types. And then um, you're going to start on the second page in your document and I'll walk you through this when we're in class but you're going to format two columns label the columns hot questions and cold questions and then as we talk and share out during our groups this afternoon or this morning sorry um, you guys are going to add in what you think hot questions are and cold questions and then we'll come back to the group to discuss it can't wait to see you here in just a little bit and um, I will talk to you soon